Hi, my name is Stuart Roberts, and I'm one of the co-founders of Stocks Down Under, Australia's leading investment publication, four times a week, 12 great ideas every week of the year. And with me is Steve Turner, uh, who's the managing director of Raffaella Resources, uh, ASX RFR, and he's in Brisbane. I'm here in Sydney. Steve, welcome to Stocks Down Under. Uh, thanks, Stuart. Uh, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. So um, you were just sharing before we started recording, you've, um, you're packing up your house because you're moving to Spain. Uh, Rafaela Resources is sitting on a pretty val a potentially quite valuable tungsten and tin resource uh, at a place called Santa Comba in uh, Galicia uh, region of northwestern Spain. Talk to us about how you uh, Rafaela got hold of that project and what you've, your near term plans are. Uh, I was working with uh, an, a capital group that seeds uh, a number of projects, uh, at, and they're based out of Hong Kong, and they picked up this mine a number of years ago. Uh, it had been in administration, it had been owned by a Spanish construction company that had gone into administration because of the construction business, not because of the mine. Uh, they'd invested quite a lot of money into the infrastructure, and uh, Starbuck Global came along, looked at it, saw the metrics, really liked it, along with some Spanish partners uh, based out of Galicia, they, they picked it up. Uh, I met with Starbuck Global around 2016, they were completing a scoping study following a a, uh, a small drilling program. It looked really, really interesting, and we come on to why that, why that is. Uh, and I agreed to work with them to find a home. Uh, I came across Rafael Resources, uh, a company listed on the ASX with two exploration projects in it. One in WA, a gold exploration project, and the other being a polymetallic exploration project with copper, cobalt, gold, and silver in Yukon, Canada. And uh, they had a fairly healthy cash balance and. We came together and a marriage was made in, in uh, August of uh, last year. And uh, the project Santa Cum was vended into Raffaella Resources and became the flagship of Raffaella Resources going forward. And we raised $2.6 million at the time, uh, brought in a very important strategic investor in the form of Transamine Trading, which is a, the oldest private commodity trader in the world based out of Geneva. They came, came in because they liked the project and liked what they saw. And uh, since then, we've been very active promoting uh, and developing Santa Cumba. Yeah, so, so that's what impressed me about Santa Cumba was the speed with which you can move. Um, so you're at the moment working on a potential uh, resource upgrade at Santa Cumba. Um, uh, and uh, later this year, uh, a feasibility study. Now, if, if the economics of Santa Cumba stack up, you can be talking about um, uh, processing first ore sometime in 2021 because a lot of the work's already been done for you by, the, by your predecessors. Uh, that, that's right. So uh, when we uh, launched the new Raffaella resources in, in August, when we went out to investors, what we stressed was that we we're going to fast track Santa Comba. And like any company, we have to establish a track record. And I think we've done a good job in that. We, we went out and said, this is our flagship project. We're going to focus a lot on on, on this project and accelerate it as quickly as possible. So the deal closed on the 27th of August. By the 3rd of September, we had our first local drilling contractor uh, uh, signed up. Drilling started by the 16th of September. By, the, by November, we had five drill rigs on site. And on March the 5th, we completed that drilling program. Uh, we had, by then we had drilled nearly 9,000 meters of um, a whole combination of diamond drilling and RC drilling. And we also complete 65 holes at 9,000 meters. So the drilling program is, has been completed. We're now in the process of uh, receiving all those samples, which have come in. 3,200 assay samples have come back. And we're in the process of feeding that resource model, which will hopefully be an upgrade in that, uh, in that resource, which we would look to have released to the market in about four weeks' time. And also, the inputs of those models are going to go into uh, furthering the feasibility study, which is actively underway. So we've engaged Tomra ore sorting out of Germany that has already completed several stages of tests uh, on, the, on the ore. To, and so far, indications are that it discriminates very well between the, the ore and the waste. Uh, and we've also done some initial test work with Grinding Solutions in the UK, which has also come back looking very positive indeed. So uh, that will now go through to the second stage of, of uh, metallurgical test work to feed into a uh, a final feasibility study, which we would expect to have out in Q3 of this year. As soon as that is done, the idea is to go out and raise the capital required for the development, which we expect to be uh, low. And the reason for that is, as you mentioned, there's some equipment infrastructure in place. We have largely completed process plans. We have 
uh, sealed roads to site. We've got grid power. Uh, we've got already a tailing storage facility. The uh, the oh, there's an open pit at site already, so the ore is already exposed. So really, there's very very little uh, large uh, ticket items to spend. We're really talking about finishing off a process plant, uh, putting electrics in, putting pumps in, uh, and and away we go. And Spain, as a country, has a long mining history. And uh, uh, obviously, you're permitted for a long time at, at Santa Cumbra, and the fiscal terms are quite reasonable by the sounds of it. Yeah, they removed uh, any royalties to encourage mining. It is a, obviously, it's a country that has a very long history in mining. It, it dates back to the Romans. Uh, so it's, uh, it's got a number of big mines in Spain and, and new mines that are coming on. In fact, uh, two of the most recent tungsten mines in the world are in the process of being commissioned, uh, La Paria and Baracopardo, which are both in Spain. The, um, so we would expect to be the next uh, tungsten mine into production there. Uh, so there is, there is a history of mining there. We're in Galicia, which is generally a pro-mining uh, region as well. And as you mentioned, we are permitted. So we're permitted out to 2068 for uh, partially on the open pit, which covers the existing, the existing open pit operations uh, that are there, um, being run by an aggregate quarry miner. Uh, and then we also have full permitting for the underground out to 2068 and for our processing plant also to 2068. Sure. Now, for all this, uh, I was astounded to see that your market cap had dropped to a mere $4.6 million at, uh, at yesterday's close, which is the, uh, the 8th of April. Now, you were holding 3.4 million cash. So I don't just need a, a magnifying glass to see your market cap. I need a microscope at the moment. Um, <laughs> yes. you've been right, right. Look, obviously, the strange times with uh, the COVID-19 uh, and a lot of the junior miners have have suffered as a consequence. Our share price is, is right down. And look, I, I think it's important to note that, you know, just in the last uh, 10 days, uh, the directors have been actively buying. So yep. uh, the directors between us have bought 1% of the company, 700, over 700,000 shares in the last uh, eight days, and uh, taking our total holding to uh, just over 7% of the company. So, you know, I can tell you that uh, we think there's a lot of value in the company to come, but uh, I'm not only telling you that, uh, the directors are, are, are showing it by reaching into their pockets and buying, buying shares. Sure. Well, Steve, Turner, a, a very um, uh, impressive story. As, uh, as they say in Mexico, Arriba, Arriba. <laughs> yes, so, no, um, we, uh, <laughs> we're, we're excited. We're excited. We, we, we think there's a good future. Look, and we're also, I think an important point to make before we go is, you know, we're funded through the end of our feasibility. So we are... Uh, we're good to go. We've had no material impacts to our program from the COVID-19. We completed our drilling on time. We've got our sampling coming in. A lot of the work is being done remotely. So we see our feasibility study still being on track for uh, in Q3. Uh, and so we're good to go. Obviously, no one can see very far with COVID-19 how what that impact might be when it comes through to development. But as of now, uh, we're on track. And so, you know, we see a lot of value to come shareholders and, you know, we're very excited about the project. Sure. Well, I'm excited too. So good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.